Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Tilt Brush from Google. Why are we talking about Tilt Brush from Google? Well, the source code is now available, which is actually kind of cool. And did you know the Tilt Brush was written using the Unity game engine? I didn't. I learned that today. So anyways, in case you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, Tilt Brush is one of the early VR applications out there. It actually got some fame. I think it was on The Tonight Show at one point in time. Uh, it is a VR painting application. Google made this available. Um, it allows you to paint in three dimensions. You can kind of do dimensional paint strokes, you can do galaxy effects, you can do particle effects and so on, and you could create neat 3D content in virtual reality. This originally was released for the HTC Vive, uh, and now it's available for the uh, Valve Index, the Vive, the Oculus Rift, and mixed reality devices. It is $22 Canadian, so probably about $18 US on Steam. By the way, if you purchased it, it is going to remain a digital product, so it is still a commercial project as well. You can still buy it on Steam if you are interested. The key thing that we are talking about today is, dun da 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 the source code has been released. And let's, let's jump over to that part, and we'll get back to the, the reading part in a minute. But here is the source code. Yes, it is 100% a Unity project. Now, I literally just found out about this. I haven't spent any time with this source code other than like two or three minutes. It doesn't currently build because I didn't properly set up Steam VR on my machine, uh, but it does appear to be the entire thing. Now, there were certain things that were either they licensed them, they had to make some changes, and they swapped them out. So we'll see that in just a minute. But as you can see, it is a Steam app. Just go, oh, sorry, uh, a Unity app. Just go on into the scene section, open up the scene uh, main, and you will find here is the heart of it. It's pretty structured. Um, so you can see here, broken down, you've got app, and you've got different controls, input handlers, and so on. The big thing you're going to want to do is drill down app to figure out how things are working. And then you're going to see that app has a number of different scripts attached to it that are handling all of the logic. Again, I haven't gone through what all of these various different scripts do, but this is how things were implemented. So this is kind of you can think of app as your entry point or your main, and then here are all the scripts that it calls out. So if you want to figure out how to extend this or work with it, this is uh, the heart of it, I suppose you could say. So just open up that scene main and go from there. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to take a look at the scripts section right here. You can see scripts. There are a number of them down here. So you can see here there's all kinds of scripts for all kinds of different things. FBX reader, importer, that kind of stuff. Another interesting thing that they've got going on is they have a number of exporters here. So go here, export. You can see they've got exporters for FBX, GLTF, RAW, STL, uh, USD, BRML, and so on. This is actually kind of a rare thing to find. A lot of times if you're working in Unity to make applications, a lot of the traditional appy stuff, things like saving and uh, loading and exporting and all that aren't generally provided. So it's kind of cool to see a reference for doing this kind of stuff. We also got obviously input handling code in here, a number of different brushes for obviously this is probably the heart of it. So people that are going to start modding this are going to probably just spend a lot of time creating new brushes or tweaking how existing brushes work. Um, and we got some code here for saving different things out. Uh, we got some GUI code here for um, creating an application in VR uh, and kind of goes on and on. We also got a number of different shaders needed to use to create this stuff. Uh, then we've got uh, some CPP here. Not sure what that's going to be all about. Uh, there's a plug in there that's, I, I'm not sure. I'd have to dig in more to find out what that actually does. Uh, but really, just jump on in here. The heart of everything, once again, is going to be scenes. Load up the main scene find the app object here, and then just start going into these. So you got this app script. You probably want to start there. That's kind of your entry point right here. So there is the entry. Obviously, this is all uh, C-sharp based code at this point in time, which I guess being a 2016 Unity project, it could have still possibly been Unity script from back in the day. So that is nice to see. So if you are looking to create an XR, AR, or VR application in um, the, the Unity game engine, they probably just got the best source code example out there. Or if you're just looking at playing around with it, there's that there too. It's under a very liberal license. All right, so we're back to the release notes on this one. This literally just happened like within an hour. That's why I don't have a lot more details about how the source code works. I can just show you where the entry point is and you can go from there. Uh, so Tilt Brush, blah, blah, blah. They're very proud. They like the community and so on. Unfortunately, also, they killed off Poly, their open source database of virtual reality objects, which is really works well and was an export point for Tilt Brush. That part sucks. Hopefully they open source that stuff up as well. 
Uh, so as we continue to build helpful and immersive AR experiences, we want to continue supporting the artist using Tilt Brush by putting it in your hands. This means open sourcing Tilt Brush, allowing anyone to learn how we build the pro built the project and encourage them to take it in directions that are near and dear to them. Uh, it was launched on Steam VR for the HTC Vive back in April of 2016. It went on to help, blah, 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 a number of different platforms. We already kind of covered all of that stuff there. Uh, so what is included? The open source archive of Tilt Brush code can be found at that GitHub. We'll see that in a second. Uh, note that it's not directly developed product. No pull requests will be accepted. That means Google are not working on this anymore. This archive is basically there for you guys to consume only. So don't submit patches or anything else. They don't care. It is not an active project. Uh, you can use, distribute, and modify Tilt Brush code in accordance to the Apache 2.0 license. Um, that's a pretty liberal license, to be honest. We'll look at some of the details of that in a second. Uh, in order to be able to release Tilt Brush, they had to make some changes. We'll get back to that in just a minute. Uh, you also have to add the Steam VR Unity SDK. It will prompt you to do this when you first load up the project. I didn't. Uh, so I, I actually don't know. One of the things they list is a very specific version of Unity. I used the, the oldest version I had installed. Uh, and uh, other than the fact I didn't install the Steam VR thing, everything seems to be working right. So here is the code uh, repository. I will link to the article and to the um, the GitHub in the linked article down below. So if you want to learn more, as I mentioned earlier on, it is under the Apache 2 license. This one allows you actually, you can use this commercially. So if you wanted to fork Tilt Brush, you could go ahead and do so. You could actually sell it yourself online. You could make, um, you know, Lean Brush, upload that up to Steam and, you know, you'd be a bit of a prick, but you can actually technically do that under the license. You obviously can't call it... Uh, Tilt Brush, it is trademarked. Uh, you have, uh, they have limited liability and providing it blows your computer up. Hey, that's on you. Uh, ditto for warranty. Uh, there's some requirements in terms of licensing and, and such and definitely check those out in more detail. But as you can see, it's very liberal in what the license allows you to do, including um, commercial support there. Let's see code breakdown. We're looking at about 80% of C Sharp, a bunch of shaders, a little bit of Python in there, shader lab. Okay, so basically it's shaders in C Sharp. Um, you come down here in the readme, you will notice some key things down here. Uh, there's some details on the Tilt Brush brand guidelines uh, and some of the trademark details. Be aware of that. Here is the version of Unity it is defined for. So you should be able to download this old version specifically from the Unity Hub if you need to do so. It is 2018.4.11 F1. You also need to have Steam VR. It will prompt you for that when you first install it. And you need to have Python 2. Point oh, you don't need. If you want to run the support scripts from support bin, you need to have Python 2.7.0. Uh, if you want to change the application names, you got some details on how to do so, how to go ahead and run it. You have some dependencies on Text Mesh Pro. This part, it will actually prompt you and do it automatically. Um, there are some details of things they changed. I think I just jipped over them. Yeah, so here you can see. So it used Sonic Ether's Natural Bloom. It was an App Store purchased asset they used. They switched to the open source version for this example. Uh, FXAA, they switched to a modified version of that as well. The Vignette and Chromatic Aberration also switched to a modified open version of that. And Tilt Shift, the official Tilt uh, Brush app uses modified version of Tilt Shift effect that came with the standard assets in the earlier version of Unity. Those were replaced with a modified version of Tilt Shift by uh, underscore discovery. Some details on hooking up all the various different pieces that you need, OAuth, Google Authentication, Oculus support, and so on. Details are all available here in the README part of the um, the GitHub page. So uh, definitely an interesting release. As I mentioned, entirely uh, Unity based. It seems to be, I, honestly, I think the way to go about this, uh, load it up. And again, I'm using 2019.4.10F for this case. I didn't really run into any problems. It asked me to upgrade to the newest asset version. Uh, it also asked me to install Steam VR, which I really should have. But otherwise, everything seems to be working fine. So I don't know if you need to use their specific version. But what I would do, come in here again, load up scenes, go to main, and go from there. It looks like your entry point is the app scene uh, available here attached to the app object. So go take a look at that guy. But then you're seeing a number of different dependencies here clip into other um, or other scripts that are attached here. Uh, I just start going through all those, figuring out uh, how everything works. But this is your entry point and your starting point and everything you need commercially is here. So some of the things that they bought that they didn't have the rights to redistribute, they have gutted out. But otherwise, this is the same tilt brush that you would find uh, here. And by the way, once again, this version of Tilt Brush, the binary version, is going to remain for sale. So if you want to just 
be an end user for Tilt Brush, you can go ahead and download it off of Steam. I also guarantee you now that they have open sourced it under this Apache license, there will be free versions of this up almost overnight. It's a very interesting application. I've never actually played with it. I've seen other people using it, but I've never really used it myself. But uh, one of these days, I'm going to get around to it for sure. Uh, so one of the most popular VR applications is now open source. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you think about Polly and Polly being shut down if you didn't hear about that. And if you're just hearing about that now, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. All right, that's it. Uh, Tilt Brush by Google is now open sourced. Kind of cool. All right, that's it. Talk to you later. Goodbye.